my channel. It's crazy to think that next week is Christmas. I wanted to hop on really quickly and just share some um, little gifts I've been giving to people. I'm definitely a procrastinator. I've been trying to get all my gifts ready and set to go for next week. Um, but before I get started, if you're new to my channel or this video, welcome. Um, I do reviews on bags. I also recently started a series called This or That, meaning you know if there is a designer bag you're eyeing or just a bag that's the it bag that's in trend, but maybe you don't wanna spend so much on something that's just seasonal, I kind of come on here and give some good alternatives to bags that I've either used myself or just um, am thinking about possibly getting that could kind of take place for that alternative. So I call the series this or that. I actually am not familiar. As you guys know, if you guys go on YouTube a lot, if you watch a lot of videos, especially on handbags, you'll know that there's just so many different, um, you can learn so much out there and you really get to see like, you know, the vintage bags, the designer bags, just anything that is um, current and you learn so much. And sometimes YouTube really does make you do it as in like, it makes you buy the things you normally wouldn't if you weren't online. Um, so I've been seeing this brand JW Pay, which you guys may or may not know, um, pop up on my Instagram, on my YouTube a lot. And I'm more, it was just so curious. Um, and I, I'm a believer that, you know, it's nice to have a collection of different, I love handbags, so I just like to have a collection. But, you know, just because you love designer doesn't mean you can't mix in, you know, contemporary brands or just, you know, regular handbags that you can alternate between if you want to kind of conserve um, some of the bags you have, you want to kind of have different bags or different outfits and just be able to rotate. And I feel like this is a great alternative for that. So this is called again, JW pay. Um, and I bought a couple of them to gift to family and friends. And I wanted to just share this with you and get your thoughts on it. I personally just got these in the mail. So I myself have never, um, I've never actually seen it, so I don't know like the qualities. I wanna give you my first impression. I wanna see what fits inside and see if this brand is worth, um, it's worth even trying out and then go through the pros and cons. So let's start with box number one. Just so you guys know, both of these boxes have the same bag, just in different colors. Um, and I'm a huge fan of this type of bag. I have a lot myself, so let me get started. Let's open up this box right here. Okay, so first off, first impression, this packaging is really nice, especially for the cost. Um, I think everything is relevant to how much you pay for items. And this packaging, I was really impressed. A very, sorry, the light is just getting so bad. It's a very substantial box. Um, and it comes in this like, and I actually saw some other reviews of and the dust bag didn't look like this, but it almost feels like a silky kind of um, material. Nice drawstring here. And the inside is, let's see here. It's this bag right here. And this is, I believe it's called the Evelyn or the Eva shoulder bag. I'll link it down below if you guys are interested. Um, but obviously it's a vegan leather and it's in this like faux like mock rock texture. I don't know if you guys can see that again. The lighting is not the best. So yeah, this is a vegan leather, but it definitely feels a little leathery. Um, as in like, it feels really soft and plushy. It doesn't feel, you know, like sometimes when you go into, no offense to Forever 21, but when you feel like a Forever 21 bag, you can kind of feel like the plasticky um, look, but it just looks great like on camera. I think this one actually for the quality, it really, for the price, the quality really isn't bad. Um, it has, again, like a nice clasp like this. It says JW Pay on one side, which I mean, most of us don't, I don't think this brand is, I don't know if this brand is new. Um, I personally never heard of it until, like I said, watching videos and just Instagram. Um, here is, so the so impressive the zipper it's very impressive it's if you guys can see how like smooth that is and buttery 
Um, so it opens really nice. It's silver hardware. And it just comes with stuffing. So I'll take it out. Okay, and it's just a plain big old pocket. And it has a like a leather, um, another matching, you know, vegan patch over here with the brand. And then this is just a fabric material. Okay, with a tag. So yeah, I would say nothing like, super unique, um, but you know, again, like, like I said, I'd like to have bags in rotation. Um, and if you want to just like bring something to the grocery store, you're sanitizing your hands, you're touching all the stuff. You don't necessarily want to bring your, you know, designer, your, your leather purses out there and then have to worry about it. This is like something you can just put over your shoulders like this. And I just think it's like a great alternative. And again, I'm like loving the shoulder strap. Um, shoulder bags and the, the drop on this is actually perfect. So even like I'm wearing a thick sweater Actually, is really comfortable and I don't usually purchase um, a lot of bags with color because I am more neutral, you know, I love Bags that kind of match with everything. So, you know, like I did a review of my my um, Like I have this bag which is like, you know, neutral before that, I'm using my Lawn Champ right here, which is black bag. So I mean, having a, like a color like this is really different. And I figure like if you're going to purchase a color bag that you may not use necessarily for a long, long time, it might just be something you match with certain outfits, like have some fun with it, right? You can't beat the price and the material is really nice for the price. Um, so this is the white one. And again, this is actually, I'm gifting this to someone else. But I just feel like this is such a cute little stocking stuffer. So there's this one. Okay, and then I wanted to show you the other one I purchased, which is, again, the same style, just in a different color. They have so many colors. I will insert it up here so you guys can see. But I think I was really drawn by the pastels. Like they had this lilac purple. They have like a periwinkle blue. This like really nice like summery green. I mean just some really fun colors. And it's like if you like to match outfits with certain bags, this is like the perfect bag to get. You can get so many and so diff so many different colors and not break the ba uh, not break the bank. Um, so this one, I don't know if the um, camera is picking up, but this is a cream color. So, but in person, it's more beige. So again, it's in this like, this like um, vegan leather, but same kind of inside. Um, and again, looks really great on the shoulder. I just love how easy it is to use. And again, you don't need to worry about damaging or and honestly if something happens you can just get another one they have so many different styles so this is the one that i have picked out but they had um cross bodies they have i think they have um some other like cute cell phone holders just a bunch of different alternatives so if you guys are interested i'll link it and you guys can check it out so again this is the cream color so yeah these are the two that i'm going to be gifting to people I'm curious though, do you guys like this color? I know it doesn't really match much, but sometimes just like a buttercup yellow, just looking at it makes me so happy and I don't know why. And then obviously this one matches with everything because it's just a beige. But I mean, for the price, like this is just so cute. So let's see what fits inside because um, I'm curious. And that way, you know, like if it works out, I can purchase some more just for like photos and things like that. So I am, again, currently using my Fendi bag and then this Longchamp bag. I'm just gonna see like what fits inside, right? So I have this, so if you, it's a um, sanitizing mist and it's so awesome because first of all, there it fits your bag and it's a multi-surface disinfectant, meaning you can just spray like where you're sitting if you're trying to eat out or you're, you know, going to the like Target or grocery store, you wanna just spray the cart down really fast. Um, you can just one spray and then it disinfects that area. So I like to keep this in my bag. So let's drop, drop this in. Okay. I have 
up you guys know i like to keep advil vitamins just anything um in case you know if you're out and about that fits right inside i have this little sunrev wallet i've been using it's just like a little you know zip around like this um fits right inside this I've been actually put I don't have it in here right now but I actually been using this as a pill case uh, but I took the like little sub compartments out and I actually put my sanitizer in here like the bath and body the little ones so it doesn't spill so just for a sake I'm gonna see that fits in here that's pretty bulky though but it still fits um, hand wipes okay so it looks like it's getting like it fits all of that but it's getting bulky so you know what since i don't think i'm gonna need this i use this for some of my nicer bags because you know i always have a fear that it's gonna spill and ruin leather but i mean again the great thing about having a bag like this is if it spills it's not a big deal so i will take that out i'm gonna see what's in this fendi bag over here and see what i can put in okay so my key pouch right here i'll just drop that in there you guys know i always carry this pouch this is um i have my alcohol wipes in here so let's see if that fits in here as well and then my mark jacobs um blush that i like to carry i mean i use this mainly just for the mirror but looks like this it's really nice if you guys actually never seen this it's this and it actually goes on really naturally you can't it doesn't look that pink when it's on the skin so okay i'm gonna drop that in there keep an extra mask let's drop that in there okay so this is what it looks like and it is i mean you could honestly zip it but it's who wants their bag to be looking like this so that's not gonna work so honestly i wouldn't carry all that like i don't i don't need this um i probably since i have my sanitizing um uh, i'll just carry my sanitizing gel i probably will not carry that um but yeah like i think just taking those two things out yeah it definitely fits i mean and it's you can see a little bulge but honestly it's not super bad and i think honestly the the why it looks so bulky is because of my sanitizing spray which again you really i mean you can keep it maybe in your bigger bags it's up to you but if i take that out i can definitely fit everything else in there and it looks perfectly normal um so i wanted to show you too if i take a couple of things of these things out so this is my bigger wallet i haven't actually used this wallet in a while but this is my alexander wang wallet and it's such a like i used to love this wallet it's like such a buttery leather and then you can see the ro rose gold hardware on the side and then the inside is this like big compartment here another front compartment and then the middle is like a zipper area for you to drop your coins it's honestly an o oh, and then up here you get another like little slot so it's such a great wallet you can fit the world in here and it's still like not long it's still like a good you know it's just with everything i need right now i just don't need a wallet this size but i i still really like this wallet so if i were to take this one out put a compact so that wallet fits perfectly stick my compact in there my keys um a house you know like i said i like to have this with me okay and then let's zip it up okay nope not gonna fit with that wallet so i'm gonna take this out and i can probably just carry that in a different case but yeah so now this fits perfectly and not bulky put it on now it lays flat against the shoulder which is really nice so yeah so this is what fits inside again um a great alternative and i would say i'm pretty picky when it comes to just handbags in general and everything relevant to the price so for 30 something dollars 
this is definitely a steal super worth it even if you don't use it you just use it for photos or you want to like you know just really make sure your outfit looks very spring or whatever the season is and you pick the color to match that season it's totally worth it and now you know I'm kind of curious on the other styles too so I'll probably order it just to see so I can do some reviews but yeah this is a great alternative for just like the 90s style 90s vibe without investing too much um, as you know that's something that I've been loving so I've been like this is my Prada re-edition um, alternative I do have the Prada re-edition Safiano but again the leather sometimes I just don't want to have to worry about it I use this one a lot I call it my quarantine bag now this could be your quarantine bag if you want it. So again, thank you guys so much. If you guys are, um, you know, thinking about getting this, let me know what color you would choose. I'm curious. And again, I'll insert everything below. But if you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.